Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you these very special Bollard Outdoor Speakers. Um, and these are special in that they are actually custom made for use in Disney theme parks. Uh, and you can't actually buy these, these are not available for sale. These were made especially for the exclusive use uh, for Disney parks. And they were designed by Disney Imagineering and made by a company uh, in Florida called Soundscape. And these have been uh, implemented in uh, most Disney parks. Uh, Disneyland uses them, a lot of them at Disney World. And I'm not sure how the guy got his hands on them, but there was a guy uh, in Florida who happened to have these. He was selling them off on eBay, and now they're in my possession, which is a fantastic little thing to add to my collection of audio products. But they're really, really interesting. They're a really great design. See, what, um, what's clever about them is that they're, you know, obviously they're in-ground speakers. They're designed to be used, um, you know, on, in, on ground level. But uh, unlike a lot of other products where the speaker's facing up at the bottom, you can see the driver's actually facing out. So that way, um, dirt can't, uh, you know, build up on the cone and that sort of thing, which can happen if the speaker's facing up. So it's a very, very clever design. Take a look. And um, there's two different, there's, it uses two drivers, as you can see, two full range drivers. There's one there, oh, and, and a tweeter, a mid range driver and a tweeter, but there's two on either side. Well, actually, this one's closer to the light. You can see it there. There's one on that side, but then there's also one at the back, which makes it omnidirectional. And uh, to get into the speaker, I did have to. Um, these came uh, with a, uh, a 70 volt line transformer, uh, but I removed that because um, that's no good for me. I don't have a 70 volt amp. I'm not. Uh, I don't need to run them in that operation, so I took that out. But these were really heavy with that in. And um, to take it out, you just unscrew these little these screws here, and then uh, take out the driver, and uh, you can get access to it very easily. It's amazing. It's a very good design as well for maintenance. It's very, very easy to take apart and put, put together again. But these speakers are absolutely fantastic. I, I, I'm really, really, really impressed with them. And it was an expensive operation to get them down here to Australia, but it was worth it. As soon as I hooked them up, I'm like, yep, that's worth it. And I plan on, I'm going to use one outside, but uh, I'm going to keep one. Just because they're so special and they're so rare, um, I'm going to preserve it and just, just keep it here in my collection. I do actually have some uh, photographic evidence as well, just to back up that they are, in fact... Uh, especially uh, these are Disney design speakers and used in Disney. These are some pictures I've got. Um, as you can see, this is um, Disney's Hollywood Studios. And you can see from Mickey there, this is um, in the uh, in the courtyard area. In the, I think it's the animation courtyard. And you can see down there, clearly that's one of these speakers. Is it zoomed in? And also uh, outside Soren at Epcot. There it is. So these are all throughout Disney parks. And there is a bit of... I know um, the brand Terra. Some of you might know about the, the speaker brand Terra. They've actually come out with uh, a similar design. A lot of people confuse these speakers uh, for Terras. Um, but these are... As you can see, I've got a picture. These are the ones that Terra make nowadays. These are commercially available. But you can see they do look distinctly different. As you can see, these ones are a lot more uh, round, like the top's rounder, where it's a lot more flat here. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of base. As you can see it's just a... Um, these ones have a round base, whereas the Terra design have... Um, well, they have a little spike that goes into the ground. So you can see they're distinctly different. Also, the green mesh as well. This doesn't have that. But these, yeah, they're the ones that Terra, and I think they're, ba they're very similar, and I think Terra have based the design on these Disney ones. But yeah, these are exclusively made for Disney parks. I'm going to fire them up in a sec. These are also some images I took as well, personally, when I was there a couple of years ago. This is one at Disney's Hollywood Studios. As you can see, the Imagineers um, painted them for some reason. I guess they thought this the, the colour was a bit more suitable. You can see the colouring's a bit different. 
in that one there as well. There's some, yeah, they're both at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So I'm going to fire them up now. And what better way to demonstrate Disney speakers with some Disney music? This is um, the Epcot, they play um, 